dummy companies were set up and others had their names swapped. For example, Ely Property became Winskirk, whilst Winskirk became Ely Property. I thought I had a grip of what was going on. Clearly, what was going on was not actually what was being presented to me. Debts mounting, Carroll went bankrupt. Later, financial anomalies were spotted by the Inland Revenue. Carroll is demanding a police investigation and has high-level support. There, there are enough indications, even to a fairly uh, uneducated eye, that, that things were odd and, you know, money disappeared and companies changed names and so on. Scotland Yard is now waiting for the serious fraud office to complete its deliberations. Meanwhile, the collapse of the Carroll Group remains one of Britain's most enduring business mysteries.